it's Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a handwriting effect in After Effects. So here we are in After Effects CC, and the first thing you want to do is come up to Composition and select New Composition, and of course adjust the settings to how you want it. I'm going to keep mine at 1920 by 1080 and simply select OK. From here you want to make sure you're zoomed out so you can see your screen, I recommend 50%, and then you want to come up to the Type tool drag out a box and simply type out some text. Now the uh, one I am going to be using, or the font I'm going to be using, you will need to download, is known as Permanent Marker. A link to it will be in the description. If you want to use your own font, by all means you can. This is one that I'm going to use for the tutorial. From here I'm simply just going to position the text to the center just like this and now what we're going to be doing is zooming into our text so we can use the mouse wheel by uh, scrolling up and I'm going to leave it here you can also just come here and left click and select it now what you're going to be doing is making sure you are selected on your text then you want to come to the pen tool and now all we're going to be doing is drawing around our text like this as if you wrote it out and then once you've done one letter Control click and then left click and begin again. Notice it will change color and that's okay because everything will line up in the end. So right now I'm just going to speed all this up and I'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, so coming on to the last letter now, I am now finished. The next step we're going to be doing is come up to Effect. From Effect, we're going to select Generate, and from here, we're going to simply select Stroke. Now, nothing's going to happen just yet. You're going to get this box. Change the color to something which you're going to be able to see other than the default color, and bring up the brush size. Now, notice it is just on one at the moment. You want to make sure you have all masks checked. As you can see, now the text will appear. Now don't go too high on this, I'm going to stay here and now we're just going to simply zoom in and adjust this so everything is lined up correctly. So just select them points you have created and just go over the text again and should make sure you cover most of the white area. Once again I'll be back to you when I finish this. Okay, so I've gone over the text again. I've made it as neat as I could. I know it does look neat, but anyway, once you are happy with the color you've selected, the next thing and the final thing we're going to be doing is where it says end, we're going to turn this to zero. Then you want to toggle the animation on end by pressing the clock. Then you want to come up here to the text, press this arrow, select effects, select the stroke, and from here, you want to come across on your timeline how quick or how slow you want your text to come on screen. So I'm going to leave it here and then we're going to turn this back to 100%. You'll notice a keyframe has been added here, this diamond. So if you do want to adjust the speed, just simply drag it left or right. And now I'm going to play it through and we are finished. So playing it through. Just like that, it's complete. So the final and last thing we actually need to do is where it says paint style, we need to set reveal original image. So now this is what it will look like. You can see just like that turns out super nice and super crisp clear. 